Now for pancreatitis. The pathophysiology is very simple. In pancreatitis, we have inflammation of the pancreas. So anytime you see the word itis, just think inflammation. So in pancreatitis, this inflammation comes from autodigestion of the pancreas. Basically, the pancreas' own digestive enzymes have accidentally activated early. Now, as you know, the main functions of the pancreas is exocrine and endocrine. The exocrine part is to produce digestive enzymes, which helps break down food and is a critical part of digestion. And the endocrine is for secretion of insulin and glucagon to stabilize glucose balance, which we cover in the diabetes lectures. Now, the enzymes are the key here. They are like ticking time bombs to break down and digest food. But when they're activated early inside the pancreas, they actually digest the pancreas. So the three key enzymes to know is protease, which breaks down protein. Lipase, one of the biggest affected by pancreatitis, breaks down fats. So just think lipids and lipase, lipid for fat. And lastly, amylase breaks down carbs or carbohydrates. Now, if the pancreatic duct is blocked for any reason, say from inflammation in liver cirrhosis or hepatitis, or let's just say a gallstone has floated down and got stuck, well, this means that the enzymes can't get out of the pancreas and into the intestine and accidentally prematurely activate within the pancreas. It's kind of like having a pirate ship and you know how they shoot out cannonballs. But what if those cannonballs explode within the pirate ship and sink your ship? Well, in the same way, it's kind of like having these enzyme bombs exploding inside the little pancreas here, causing supersized inflammation as the pancreas digests itself. This is what is meant by autodigestion. Now, the causes are very simple. Again, think anything that can block this little tiny pancreatic duct. As you can see, we have a lot of organs closely fitted together here, kind of like an apartment complex. They all share this common bile duct, which branches off into the pancreatic duct here. So, common causes is alcohol abuse from years and years of inflammation, which ends up inflaming the little duct and occluding it, or basically blocking it. Now, gallbladder disease as well, we talked about a gallstone or even inflammation that now blocks this duct. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.